What's good y'all, we back with another video in nearly a month after Jawu was kidnapped, beat, stripped, recorded live by Humble G's and others. NYPD has now connected a 13 year old boy passing away to that incident. That's what they're insinuating in this article. The title reads, 13 year old boy killed in Brooklyn shooting was targeted in revenge plot over Instagram live beating. A 13 year old Brooklyn boy gunned down in an apparent game hit was killed as revenge after a rival was beaten and forced to strip naked on Instagram live sources said. The NYPD has identified two persons of interest but has made no arrest in connection with the shooting death of Troy Gill otherwise known as Ty Five a few blocks from his Crown Heights home around 10 p.m. February 29th according to law enforcement sources. Ty Five was shot four times by rival gang members after attending a Brooklyn Nets game earlier in the night and he called his mother in a desperate panic in his final moments and he was shot four times in the arm and chest and did succumb to his injuries. Authorities believe Ty Five was targeted for his affiliation with a street gang but the child didn't take part in a social media beatdown of Ja Wu that sparked the alleged revenge killing. Prior to Ty Five's murder, the suspected gunman was kidnapped by members of Ty Five's gang and forced to strip naked then beat down in a live stream attack. So what the police are saying is Ty Five, a 13 year old from Drench Gang, that's what his tattoo says, went to a Nets game. After he left, he was walking back to his home in Crown Heights. And a day after the Jawu situation where Jawu was kidnapped, forced to strip, beaten down by Humble G's and others, 24 hours later, their legend Jawu shot and killed this 13 year old that's what they're alleging they didn't put no names because they haven't charged them yet but if it is true getting back on a 13 year old no more gotta be said but one thing that was interesting a couple days before this article got posted kyle rich was on tiktok live and got asked a question about jawu and this was his response are you gonna get back for jawu <laughs> no comment. <laughs> what a boy. No comment. And I have no comment for that. But the one thing we need to take into consideration is step back from the Jawu situation. A 13 year old boy lost his life yet again. He had a tattoo that said Drench King. He had a mom that went on the news and tried to protect her son's name by saying he wasn't a gang member, even though he had Drench King tatted on him. She acknowledged the tattoo but said he wasn't a gang member and she probably knew he was she's just trying to protect his name or maybe she actually didn't know maybe she's just that out of the loop which happens to a lot of mothers but i think bad parenting and unfit parents is the reason why a lot of these young men are forced into a certain lifestyle or feel the need that they need to live a certain lifestyle at such a young age everybody needs to do their part if that's from the kids point of view from the parents point of view everybody because yet again another 13 year old lost his life and sad world we live in that we not even talking about the 13 year old we're talking about job who allegedly getting back and laughing at the situation rest in peace top five y'all know what y'all think down in the comments down below i'm gonna get up through appreciate for rocking with me keep doing y'all keep doing me be safe stay dangerous good